Welcome to another edition of Smart J here on YouTube.com. Hope all is well. I do you want to do a wrestling video? And uh, after SmackDown, there's this um, segment or this uh, like post game. It's called Talking Smack, and uh, it's hosted by Renee Young and uh, Daniel Bryan. And a lot of things have come from this. You know, most memorable being uh, recently where Daniel Bryan has uh, said that you know he was borderline offended uh, how. John Cena was uh, insulting AJ Styles about, you know, working in other promotions. And uh, if he doesn't succeed in WWE, he would just go back and leave again. And today, uh, or last night, rather, Daniel Bryan was talking about the Miz. And he was calling the way he wrestles a coward. And uh, this promo was pure quality. Bryan is a professional and he understands it was a work, so there's really nothing wrong here. I mean, it definitely was a work, okay? At least my opinion. The best works are the ones where the line between reality and fiction are blurred. This is one of those situations. Now, is this the best promo of Miz's career? Are there any memorable Miz promos? Kind of have to think long and hard about it, but I think this one uh, will be the number one promo that he did. And, you know, when you kind of can't tell if it's a work or a shoot, that's when I think wrestling is at its best. You know, just just like when, uh, remember when Jake the Snake made his snake, uh, made his snake bite the Macho Man or Jerry the King Lawler and and uh, Andy Kaufman from back in the day, that whole interaction. You never really knew, you know, if it was v true or fake. I'm sure both of them got bullet points to work off, you know, Daniel Bryan and The Miz. But I think the actual exchange that they had was ab lib. You know, Miz's whole point of this pro promo was Brian is the one who's cowardly. He was cleared by multiple doctors to do what he loves, which is to wrestle. But WWE wrestler uh, doctors didn't clear him. So instead of doing what his passion is, wrestling, he quit and just became a GM. Does Miz have a point here? WWE needs more stuff like this. More passionate improv. And less of the, you know... The stuff where it just... It comes... Uh, you're totally reading off the script. When it's convincing enough to make people believe the emotion is real... That's when wrestling is most fun to watch. The fact that people are so riled up... And you can't even tell if it's fake or not. Means that he did what he was meant to do. And that's his job. You're supposed to hate him. He's the bad guy. That gets lost in an era where so many of the top flight heels are cheered. Because they are often more interesting. But Miz, I think he's one of the few legit heels uh, right now. You know, the big promo, you know, the big problem with promos is that they feel so forced and phony because they have to remember a script, like I said. Get rid of the scripted promos and let them speak from the heart. That's how you get fans interested in the storyline. Then again, the right people have to do it. And it's always the wrong people who think they can do it. Nikki Bella, Natty, Zayn, Sasha... Titus O'Neil, leave it to the pros. Ambrose, Miz, KO, Styles, Jericho, people with a track record, even John Cena. <coughs> but that's what's missing nowadays. It's a good promo. And uh, Miz definitely delivered a good promo. I hope all is well, and I look forward to speaking to you very, very soon.